Well, hi there, Chris and Mary. It wasn't far from this entrance to the expressway that drivers reported seeing a truck carrying a crane driving erratically, smashing into cars. The responding officer somehow was able to get into the cab of that car and force the driver to stop before causing any more serious injuries. 47 year old Brian Sinclair in handcuffs is walked out of the 6th precinct in Selden, charged with driving while intoxicated and leaving the scene of an accident after he smashed into several vehicles on the Long Island Expressway. Brian, why didn't you stop after you hit those cars? This mangled car is one of four vehicles authorities say he collided with on the expressway near Ronkonkoma around 6 last night. Sinclair didn't stop, but the impact slowed him down, so a highway patrol officer was able to catch up with him and managed to jump into the passenger compartment of the truck and forced him to pull over near exit 63. I pulled my vehicle to the right-hand side of the road. I was on the grassy portion of it. I ran out of the vehicle. I jumped onto the uh, step rail of the cabin of the truck. I opened the door. Fortunately for me, it was unlocked, and uh, I was able to... Uh, Use my service weapon to convince the driver to put the vehicle in park, which he did. You can see officers give Sinclair a field sobriety test and then walk him to a cop car in handcuffs. Police say somehow none of the people in the four vehicles, ranging from 22 years old to 61, were seriously hurt, though three people were treated in local hospitals for minor injuries. Officer Goss also suffered minor injuries. And police say Sinclair was driving a truck that belonged to a company called Bay Crane Services. We reached out to them for comment, but so far they have not returned our request for information. We're live here in Long Island. Natalie Dutters, CBS 2 News.